Good morning. It's spring out here in the desert, and the temperatures are already up in the mid-90s. And that means it's time for baseball. This year I went looking for a baseball anime and found one with an interesting little twist to it. Taisho Baseball Girls is a 2009 anime TV series about a group of schoolgirls forming a baseball team in 1925 Japan. In the Taisho era, Japan was adopting some Western culture, and a part of that was baseball. Nonetheless, schoolgirl Komei never really thought about the sport. Her traditional family runs a small restaurant, and she tends to her studies and after-school chores like a proper young lady of the period. But Komei's best friend, Akiko, abruptly proposes organizing a girls' baseball team. It seems that Akiko was at a party thrown by her wealthy parents when a young suitor suggested that further education would be wasted on a mere girl. All women had to do was stay at home to cook and raise children. This we call the good old days, before all that Title IX stuff. A spark of women's liberation ignites in Akiko, and since the boy is a baseball player at his high school, she chooses that sport to make her statement. Naturally, she cajoles her best friend, Komei, into joining her. Unfortunately, neither girl knows anything about baseball. To succeed, they're going to have to recruit some teammates, learn the game, and overcome a number of other obstacles. Luckily, another classmate, Kawashima, decides to help out. She's not a player so much as she's a natural-born organizer, or the perfect manager. Luckier still, one of the teachers at the girls' academy, Anna Kirtland, is an energetic and liberated American visitor who knows something about baseball and is all too happy to help these girls with their unconventional goal. So, these young girls assemble a team with the usual assortment of personality types. There's a natural athlete, a shy girl, a slugger, a klutz, and so on. While the character mix is conventional for an anime, these aren't over-exaggerated. The story is low-key as the girl's gentle determination drives them to learn the game and overcome many obstacles. Among these obstacles is the headmistress of the girls' school, who doesn't think baseball is an appropriate activity for the young ladies in her charge. As I mentioned, the story takes place in 1925, during the Taisho era in Japan, and the anime makes every effort to reproduce the fashions and style of that period in dress and technology, food, baseball uniforms and equipment, and even the black and white 8mm film of baseball games that the girls study. That places it firmly in an age that considered the woman's place to be in the home. The new sailor suit school uniforms were one of the recent Western styles to come to Japan. You can tell which of the girls come from more traditional, conservative families by whether they wear the kimono to school or the newer sailor suit uniform. One of the girls' other challenges will be to find someone to play against. Since they're pioneers, there are no other girls' teams. They're going to have to play against boys. That not only challenges social norms, but requires finding a boy's team willing to play mere girls, and novices at that. Komei has her own problems. Her father is very traditional, which is why she still wears the kimono to school. Naturally, he thinks that girls playing baseball is just plain weird. So she takes the easy solution and hides it from him. Komei is the main character of the story, and the only character with a story outside of the baseball field. But she has eight other teammates, plus the manager and coach, each of whom is different but likable in their own way. Taisho Baseball Girls is based on a previous manga, which I haven't read. 
It's directed by Takashi Ikihara, who also directed Genshigen. As with that series, the anime has great affection for its characters, even when it's gently poking fun at them. While it draws its personalities from many anime stereotypes, it avoids the excesses of exaggeration or bombast. The music may not be exceptional or even noticeable, but it fits nicely with the idea of a period story, sounding vaguely old-fashioned, even from the opening theme song. It's certainly not 1925 old-fashioned, but it's certainly nothing modern enough to distract us from the old setting. Taisho Baseball Girls is about setting your own goals and marching to your own beat. It's also about baseball the way it should be, the ideal. Study, learn, practice hard, and compete, all with good sportsmanship and fair play. Learn from your mistakes and naturally work together as a team. And of course, always strive to do your very best. Gambate. Taisho Baseball Girls has a quietness to it. It doesn't really go for drama, but has a sincerity and earnestness that I found really compelling. It also has a good sense of humor. Granted, a few of these jokes are a little old. We've seen the bit where the player isn't paying attention and gets hit on the head with a pop fly in more than a few shows. But it also has enough more subtle other humor to be forgiven the occasional cliché. Taisho Baseball Girls is a familiar story of a new generation quietly but determinedly challenging both their parents' and society's expectations. It's breaking away, whip it, or a league of their own. An inspirational story aimed at youngsters. Despite treading well-worn ground, it's populated with likable, if familiar, characters. It has a sense of humor about itself. And most importantly, it seems sincere rather than contrived. In many ways, it reminded me of the characters in Aria and their earnestness. I enjoyed watching it, and I give it four stars. Taisho Baseball Girls is currently streaming from Sentai Filmworks on their anime network. By the playoffs, maybe I'll have finished watching Cross Game. Meanwhile, let's play ball. Thanks for watching.